Well, I guess because everybody else is making Chris Benoit videos, I might as well do one too since, you know, you know, if everybody jumps off a bridge, I might as well just follow on after them. So, uh, well, anyway, Chris Benoit, man, you know, what a major shock it was in 2007. I, I come home from work. At the time, I was working at my dad's job. Um, sit down on the couch. Time for Raw, 9 o'clock. Flip on Raw. And what do you see? It's, um, wow, a Chris Benoit and... Um, Actually, I believe it was a three-hour episode. Uh, don't really remember. I think it was. Anyway, I, I think it was scheduled to be a three-hour Raw, and they were going to get to the bottom of Vince McMahon's death and all that. Um, but anyway, turn it on, and the screen comes up. Chris Benoit is found dead. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, what? Like, I had a rush of sadness just overtake me. I was like, Chris Benoit, I had gotten an autograph from this guy in 2004 out in Yonkers after he won the world title. I'd been watching um, him since 1998 in WCW, more like late 97. Um, the first time I really got into Benoit is when he had his feud with Raven and, you know, the best of five series with Booker T. Um, and, um, you know, I, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, best of seven series. Um, the best of five was the WWE one. Uh, but anyway, just phenomenal matches with Booker T. And um, Raven and an assortment of other wrestlers. Just, you know, a really like a great career. And then he came to WWE. I remember the ladder match with Jericho. Just, you know, a number of great matches with Kurt Angle. Uh, started reinvigorating the WWE um, tag title scene, you know, by teaming up with Angle. Um, you know, just great. I mean, he could have feuds with people like Kurt Angle and Jericho, but also be have great tag teams with them as well. So he was a very adaptable star. And then he won the world title in a... A famous five-star match at WrestleMania 20. I attended it at the Garden. I was so lucky to, you know, see him live and see that whole event live. Even though, you know, it wasn't the best of shows. Um, you know, uh, it was a tremendous main event. And, uh, you know, much like Eddie Guerrero. And that was the thing. I mean, Eddie Guerrero died in 05. And in 07, it was Benoit. The two best of friends. And I was like, oh, my God. Just... A tremendous disappointment. And then, it was like a couple of days later, and, you know, I remember the next day at work on Tuesday, everybody was upset about it. And then the information started coming like a couple of days after, and I found out that Chris Benoit killed his family. Uh, and, and I heard that it was his... His, um... His son and his wife, and then he hung himself on a piece of gin, uh, gym equipment, and I was like, are you fucking serious? And then I was like, I can't believe that this guy would do something like that. It was just the most horrendous thing I've ever heard before. And, I, you know, I was just so disappointed in someone like Chris Benoit who seemed like he was a nice wrestler when I met him in the autograph session. I mean, you know, they're paying him regardless, so it's like, you know, he's paid to be nice. But anyway, seeing some guys will just sign the autograph and go, here you go. He actually talked to me, you know, asked me where I was from and all that. You know, a little chat, and it was nice. He seemed like one of the better wrestlers, and he appeared that way on TV. Because, uh, you know, he always got into his matches, never a lazy compare, always gave it 110%. And then when I found out he killed his family, I was like, wow. And then I see people on YouTube saying that that doesn't matter. And how could you fucking say that? That it doesn't matter that he killed his family or not. The man was turned into a fucking psychopath. He killed his family. I have no respect for somebody like that. That's like saying that you respect... Like, like the Unabomber, 
or you, or you respect um, Charles Manson. <laughs> it, it, it's almost incredible the way that the YWC, the IWC, whatever the fuck you guys call yourself these days, the way they think. How can you support a murderer? The man is an amazing wrestler. He was an amazing talent. But the thing is, WWE has every right not to mention his name on DVDs and not promote him. Because look what the guy did. Thinking from a business perspective, Vince McMahon, I hate the man. I hate his guts. I hate him for what he's done to WWE, turning it into a PG mess. But you got to admit, they have every right to you know shun his name from the record books. Because what he did was a disgusting act of murder and just killing himself, taking the easy way out. The man was a fucking psychopath. Uh, just inexcusable in every sense of the word. And everybody has got every single right to just forget about him when it comes to mentioning him on air. And you people whine and complain that they've got no right to do this. No right at all. They've got to promote a murderer. You know, Charles Manson, let's promote him too. Let's say he's a great guy. Let's say he's a phenomenal talent, even though he killed his own family. You know, it's just stupid. And people look like retards when they say this because you can't do that. You, you know, you got to have, it's professional wrestling. It's a rough sport, you know, but you got to have a certain level of morality you can't just promote anybody especially somebody like this you just can't do it so that's my verdict chris benoit well i remember him for the great wrestler that he was one of the best of all time of course he was i'd be lying I, i'd sound like an idiot if i said that but you cannot just overshadow the fact you know, with the fact that he's a great wrestler, being that he's a fucking murderer. And that's all I really have to say about that. You people, you Chris Benoit supporters, you should be ashamed of yourselves.